Hey, what's up there, everybody? This is Thavius Beck, and I'm back with a new course on the Octatrack Mark II from Electron. Now, I'm a huge fan of the original Octatrack. I've used it extensively in the studio and for live performance, and uh, it's treated me very well. So I was super excited to see the Octatrack Mark II, and once I got my hands on it, I understood why it was such a valuable and useful upgrade. So one of the main differences that we see between the original Octatrack and the new one are all the new buttons that we have here and the new high quality encoders. We also have an upgraded crossfader. Uh, we have better quality inputs with higher headroom. Uh, we also have a few extra buttons that make it easier to get to specific parts of the edit menu, uh, the MIDI section, etc. Now, again, I've done another course about the original Octatrack and the overall functionality is basically the same. There's not like a bunch of new features here. Uh, the Mark II and the original Octatrack both have trig conditions now, which is a huge electron sequencer uh, selling point and we'll get into that a little bit later. Uh, but the main point of me saying that is that I'm gonna approach this Octatrack course a little bit differently from the previous one uh, because there's a lot that we can do with this device. So the main thing that I wanna showcase as we move through this are how we can take advantage of all the different track machines. The different track machines on the Octatrack let us use audio in unique ways, and there's a lot of different ways we can take advantage of this. So we're going to be exploring that throughout this course and taking advantage of some of the new things that the Mark II offers us. So with no further ado, let's get started. 